Now Arnie, we've done a great job kind of rough shaping the wood repair, but we've got some divots here and we've got a few little voids. What happens there? The wood wizard's still curing. It's gonna cure for a while here, but we've got it really looking good. We've got it pretty close to the shape. We're gonna add some of our uh, putty compound onto it with some thickener to fill those voids for you. Because the wood wizard doesn't go on less than a quarter of inches, but this ready to use product out of the can by Wood Wizards will fill those voids with no problem. And by using some thickener, it fills in some of the areas. Is that correct? Yes, it is. Great. Well, let's mix it up. How do you mix the putty compound? I'm going to show you right now, Roger. I like to start off with about three ounces of the ready to use compound and slowly add the dry thickening agent till we get it to the consistency that it'll spread. Okay. It's it's got a semi-viscous feel to it. It's almost like mayonnaise, you might say. It's still going to need some thickening over here. Okay. So now we need to add some thickening powder into that. Now how much do you use? I'm going to use about one ounce of powder and then we'll see how it spreads. And if we need a little bit more, we'll add a little bit more. So it doesn't matter. You can put more or less in there. Up to It's up to you. It's up to you. Whatever works for the wood that you're using. If you have a little more voids that you need filling, uh, then you might put a little more thickener. You might want it a little thicker. Okay, great. Let's do that. All right. Just add a little bit into here. About We're going to add about one ounce. These are 10 ounce bags and we're going to stir. You want to get that stirred up? Uh, to get it stirred up really good so that it's all one color. Everything's about one color. So the thickener is kind of a tannish color and you've got the uh, putty compound. It's a white so you're going to get a lighter version of that. You might show the everybody out there what color that it's becoming. This white, it still needs some mixing. Okay. And I can tell we're going to need a little more powder. It's still a little too thin. Okay, especially because of our yeah, voids we that we have those on voids. here. So let's just add a little bit more powder. Sure. Again, I think we're going to have people thinking that they have to be real precise about how much thickening agent. They're going to find out just by trying a little bit. If it's too thin, they put a little more thickener in there and keep doing it that way. We've developed it so it's easy to use and that you have a lot of leeway with it. Yep, still thickening up pretty good here. This is going to stay this way for a while in this jar so you don't have to worry about it getting hard right away. Yeah, that's a good question. If I mix a, a big batch up, how, how much time do I have? Well, generally speaking, at 70 degrees, you got an hour, an hour and a half for okay. it. It'll stay this way. I feel real good about that. Oh, yeah. You need that. That's looking good right now, Roger. Okay. It's got one color here. Okay. Now, what is it you do now? Now we're going to spread it over the area we just fixed with the wood wizard to pick up any of those small voids. A little bit over here. And we're going to take your spreader and simply spread it now. It'll spread easy now. See, no, you can get that's that just so like, smooth. That's just like icing a cake. Just like your butter in a cake. Now this is getting to be fun. Isn't it? And we've done this all in this time. There's no lapse time here. Um, so can you do a repair in a day? We can get a job done in a day and so could you. We're going to put some along the front here as well. This time we're going to add some to the, to the blade here. And it's important to keep this edge clean so you don't pick up some dirt and debris in there it becomes easy and, and understandable as long as they and follow these steps. That's correct. Now look at the voids that we had in here and it's all filled in. I was worried about a few of those voids. Well, Roger, we've designed this to be easy for you. A little bit right there. We're going to put a little more there. And when this dries, you can sand it and if you need to add another coat on top of it, you can. Okay, so we don't need to do any additional preparation other than just put another coat on. Well, you notice that there's a little bit of rough texture to this. Our next stage, we're going to add a little bit of roughness back into here. 
I'm very pleased with what this putty compound has done. It has filled in voids, it shaped it up, and now it needs just a little texture. How do we do that? That's simple with the Wood Wizards. We acquired and assembled for you several different grades. This is a medium grade, but looking at this wood, I could tell this is going to be the coarse grade that you're going to need. So we've already had the putty mixed in with our thickener. Now we're just going to add a little bit of our coarse uh, aggregate into it and we're going to create what you have so that when you're ready to paint this, it's going to look the same. Now this is already pre-mixed putty compound with the thickener and now you're going to additionally put in a texture to match this wood. That's correct. That's you cool. always want to start with your putty and your thickener and then add your medium or your coarse aggregates as, as you need them. So we're just going to add a little bit of this coarse in here, not very much. And again, it's too desired. You want to try a little bit at first, and if it's not coarse enough, you can always add some more. So we we'll mix this up good in here. So this is a lot of latitude here in order for you to go ahead and create a finish for the wood that you're repairing. Well, we want it to look the same as what you had there. It's like you didn't even have a finish done. Okay, we've got our coarse mixed up in here. We're going to apply a little bit with a little chip brush. Or you can put it on with a spreader, but let's just uh, try our chip brush first and see what kind of texture. You get to be a little bit of an artist here. So, And you're just blending that into the old in. wood to the repair. Yes, it is. And I like to go a little bit further so we get it kind of close. And so this will stick to an existing paint. This will stick exactly. And if you have little cracks in your existing paint, you can go over it with the putty and the thickener. Yep, this is looking good, Roger. Oh, it is looking good. Let's put a little bit more here. You can do. Look at that. It's almost like you didn't repair it at all. That's what we want. So when this is primed and painted, it, uh, it'll look brand new again. And is it structural? This is very strong. We have several engineers on staff that work with us. If you have a repair, that needs to have structural calculations or certification done with it. Wood Wizards can help you with that or your local retailer will direct you to one of our source engineers. That looks pretty good right there, Roger. I think so. It looks like that rough sawn lumber. Yep, give this an hour or two to dry and you're ready to prime and paint. And that's all there is to it. So now what we've done is we've come, let me move this over. We've come from here, right before your very eyes, with the, all the processes to make it structural and also beautiful again. And they didn't have to replace this great big beam or any of the wood that they needed to. So uh, I'm really very happy with what I see here. And congratulations on a great product. And this is a Wood Wizards complete system. Yes, it is, Roger. Now you can fix almost any wood it's feasible for you and save yourself thousands and thousands of dollars. Almost anybody would have the necessity to use this product, even if it was just for little corners, outside corners of fascia boards, uh, on patio covers, on stairways, on balconies. Uh, it's almost endless. Pretty much anything that you need to fix, you can do with the Wood Wizard system. And should you have any questions, you call our 800 number for customer support and somebody will be gladly there to help you. Thank you for demonstrating and showing us how the Wood Wizard complete system works. Arnie, we're done. And we've done all the processes on this entire house. It's pretty exciting. Now what do you have to do? You're ready for prime and top coat. The whole thing's done, it's protected, and it'll last many, many, many years, Roger, without removing this whole beam. We saved this homeowner thousands and thousands of dollars. Wood Wizards. Wood Wizard system is number one. Thanks. Thank you, Roger.